Hello and welcome to Metal Gear Solid Snake, the Twin Snakes. I'm going to be playing on the hard difficulty and I'm going to be trying to do it without any kills whatsoever, which has proven very difficult. Game start. God, this is boring. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Really intense exterminator. Snake, Colonel, can you hear me? Hello, Loud hello, can you hear me? What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When Every you time you get a noise, migraine, that's press us. Press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, let's see if I can actually get through this area without being seen, which I have never been able to do for some reason. Never always seen. Just gonna move him down to the locker down to so he doesn't wake up.
partially not seen. Grey! what I would have seen if I was up there. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. No, the credits did. sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? Maybe the Russians are here? I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Oh my god, it's Fabio. Maybe we should have stood somewhere else. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline You've so no need to, to rush wow he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather who's that oh sorry i haven't introduced you two yet this is mei ling she was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist she designed your codec as well as your soliton radar system contact her if you have any questions about either of them <laughs> nice to meet you snake it's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like no snake, solid snake. Other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First. I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. 
He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Mm, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Don't know what if you don't try? Duck near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left, and one on the right. They're armed with 556ers five and pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Finally, you can start playing again. A surveillance camera? <coughs> Who is that? <laughs> God, just seen all the time. do that but still no kills snake this is mcdonald miller it's been a long time master what are you doing here I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I'd rather just not be I in a foxhole, but okay. In a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80.
I moved the DARPA chief to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? Oh, they just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? What the hell is a Did woman? Something happen? There's an intruder. <coughs> Decaf for you. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah, and they say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. So many annoying calls. Jesus, I can't see a thing, it's so dark. There we go. Just want to see this cutscene because it's funny. Hate Alaska. Boy, oh boy, that woman is built all right. I didn't shake twice.
Who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm a size 6, but that's not important I'm right Sean. now. They sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is he involved too? Is it possible? It's possible. They Anything's possible. Could launch if you dream it. Keep it down in there. Access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Kim Kardashian? Here. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run ins in the past. I've so been that's keeping the up with the series. This disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? Poor life decisions? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data, and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution... Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. Metal Gear Fluffy was Metal already Gear taken. Finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Wanna go? Yeah, I'll take you. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh. You mean PAL? Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Which makes Baker, two. The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. 
Oh, thank you. His name didn't clarify that. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? If you're going to repeat everything I say, it's going to take so much longer. Developers ...as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that... Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key... So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. Just like a woman. Insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Mm -hmm. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? That's why I abbreviated it, it to pan, because we both know what we were talking about. Medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? A five-sided shape. <laughs> This is going somewhere interesting. Not like I raped him. I could rape him. Naomi, the chief, what happened? I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No! Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. Yes, my You've personal got to life. understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. I disagree. Get out of there and find President Baker.
Don't move! So you killed the chief, you bastard! <gasps> Language. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. Which is a good thing to do with your gun. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Bang! Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out Looks of here. Like we'll be a little delayed. Uh. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. Yes, Queen. Well, that ruined my no-kill streak, but apart from that bit... Thanks for the help. Wait! Who are you? Get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. I can't hear you under that mask.
that's the way Daddy likes it. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. Just stop my bleeding before continuing. A twist. Oh, Jesus. Face down, arse up. Is it a Tuesday already? Always have to get this pressure as early as possible, even though it's useless in the next area. Okay.
Just let him rest. Am I too late? That's how I wake up every morning. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! That's exactly what I say all the time. C4! C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. Really? He talks about me? What does he say? And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. That's how it's written as well. Revolver, long pause, ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. And I can see that you do. Cool. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Except things that require eight bullets, but we won't get into that. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. You use a revolver gun, it isn't that difficult. Draw! A puppy! Was easier. Hmm. You're pretty good. Just what pretty I expect good? from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. Need a hand? My hand! Camouflage. 
Can't you even die right? You were lucky. We'll meet again. Yeah, that was definitely luck. Who are you? Now for one of the greatest cutscenes in a game. I like you. I have no name. Or friends. That exo skeleton. What the hell? Why the hell? Can you talk? Who are you? Woof. Woof. I'm not yes, one of them. Yes, seem, seems I can. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kind of like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I just gave it to him. Like, no torture, nothing. I just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. Even more than what me. What your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. Well, I'm no Jay Leno. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Ah. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. I don't know. I don't a really heart care. Attack. Oh, don't be a fool. Don't tell me what to do. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, 
Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That what the hell is prison? Soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh... Sorry. I forgot. Damn! Oh my god. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. <laughs> I'll contact her right away. But tell oh, me, completely calm if this now. doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Oh. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius in engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, Several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff. It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that no, there's it a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty oh, of wait, available so nuclear I could just material skip that last scene and thank you. for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean 
Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the military oversight committee. Bribes. Just call it the military industrial complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. What you call me? Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Well, it that was a ninja. ninja. That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, 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 what? What did you do to me? Uh, oh, no. Bastards. Language. So they, they, they actually went and did it. What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, 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 uh. Are you listening? Now he's dead, too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. 
Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Maybe we should have moved to Puri then. really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? And your boss. Niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. You came alone? Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal, then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal...
sick of each other. But not ha ha funny, like funny. A yes would suffice. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Got ya. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. 
Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. We got the mine grenade here. Mine grenade, mine detector. I just do magic things. Or is it here? Ah, there we go. around there use a mind detector who are you just call me deep throat deep throat the informant from the watergate scandal never mind about that You're no i think that's a pretty big deal are you nearby listen there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you who are you anyway one of your fans
This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. Oh, whoops. I was meant to send you a letter. <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Okay, as soon as you start flying. Let's fight! Oh, that's so Raven. Oh my god, just let me kill you. Finally. See how you like this. Just stay there. No, it's fine.
Oh, ow. You're going to step on one of them. Yeah. Oh, almost. Yeah. Oh, my God, finally. Is this all right? Just giving him the card like that. Well, what have you given up? Go. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. He lives and breathes combat just like you. I would expect no less from your. General Ivan, I hear that you lost your arm and ran away home. Watch your tongue, shaman. Ooh, bitch fit. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. 
yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Ooh, ominous. Here's a man. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? So there's no need to call about? me down. Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah. There's lots of boxes piled up in here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. Where she can call me? warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. More so Stay. than exploding. Never use your weapon on that floor. Just go down. Another person? <laughs> 
So apparently we're in Mexico now. Well, what can you add to that? Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. for the second Great. greatest cutscene in a game ever. Ah! Firing wildly into the air. At some point you just think, I'm gonna die. <laughs> St 
stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? I'll, uh, I'll be your friend. What are you talking about? Cyborg. I am back from a world Got where very shiny meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? Oh, I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> well, what's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to battle with you. What is it? Revenge. It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> You were doing one using one. God. Face. That seems to work. Okay. 
Okay, playing hide and seek now. That's not weird. my worst play forever but there you go this now Too much. That's good, Snake. Zanzibar. Is it over? Yes, thank you for watching. Bye.
Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You yourself, in Zanzibar land. Yes. He should have been killed, but he's still alive. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy he? project. You mean she? And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar land. And that was Gray Fox? But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. I know, people We've being born? Ew. All sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? You didn't ask? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record said he died in an accident. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I can tell, he didn't know who he was. You're saying he's just living off his will to fight? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Mm-hmm. I'd rather not, but maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Rest of my life? It's nice. Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on. No, I'm out. not a virgin. Can't stay here forever. Your uniform's different from theirs. You're the Metal Gear Rex chief engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh. So you're here to rescue me? Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Hmm, are you hurt? Ah, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't oh. know? Aren't they I'll just, just keep shaking you. Maybe the answers will fall out. To launch a disabled nuclear warhead? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. Uh, no, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know. No. All the armament was built by a separate department. And the president personally supervised the final assembly with the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. 
It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all, I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Yes. Have it Metal this Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So, this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? Did the terrorists launch that thing? No. Damn! Damn! I'm such a fool! It's all my fault! The truth is... My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father? He was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But in the end, I was the one being used. Using science for peace? That's only an anime. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. It's embarrassing. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower. But it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the base's control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Yes, we'll do that. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. So we just have to amputate. You'll need me if you're going to destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. Your delicious brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by Kodak. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Boats haven't been invented yet. Okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Well, that won't be useful it's for me in any way. the same technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is. Over there. Oh no. Damn, they spotted me. 
Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. I will kill you if you ever call me stupid Here, again. Use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you. What's wrong? You get all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I, uh, just glad you're okay. You're strange. And I like I'm it. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. Your bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otakon. Or Virgin. Otakon. It stands for Otaku Convention. An Otaku is a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. Yeah, that's what all scientists say. <laughs> I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, yeah. it's true. That's what Dr. Mario reckons. Sounds like an excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has progressed because there is war. And because of scientists' greed, weapons of mass destruction were born. But that's all over. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. And this brings the end to my first stream and first YouTube video. This is amazing. Thank you. If you've watched all the way to this point, thank you very much. And I'll hopefully I'll catch you next time. Good see you, good luck. <laughs>